Hello Milestone community and welcome to another episode of this Milestone community demo video series on the Milestone community channel. So thank you for watching. Um, as you maybe know, normally I don't do these uh, introductions for short demo videos, but in this particular case I would make an exception because this is also an exceptional integration. Because this time it's about a SIP integration. Yes, you hit it correctly, a SIP integration into Milestone Expert Tech provided by our technology partner SGSE. So I really have to be, do a big shout out to my buddies at SGSE, Oscar Romero and Salvador Dominguez because they really did an amazing job in integrating their SIP solution into Milestone Expert Tech. The integration is based on the Grandstream IP PBX, the UMC6510. Uh, it's a unit, you can see it here next to me. Uh, it supports up to 2000 users. It supports 200 SIP trunks and supports 64 users in a conference. It also features a one gigahertz a quad core Cortex A9 processor, so it's quite a powerful uh, unit as well. And it's now fully integrated into the Milestone management client, but also obviously in the Milestone smart client. Because with this integration, we basically create a device agnostic SIP interface into Milestone Expert Tech. You can basically use, for example, 2N intercoms, uh, access door intercoms, comment intercoms, anything that supports SIPs protocol can now be integrated into Milestone Expert Tech using the plugin from SDEC. The integration has a lot of cool new features added to the Milestone system. Um, for the SIP devices, you can now put them on the map. So the plugin allows you to put the SIP device on the Milestone maps. So you can see the status, you can initiate calls, you can receive calls, etc, etc. The plugin also contains two tabs in the smart clients, one to manage and record announcements, for example, and distribute the announcement or playback the uh, announcements. But it also has a central IP PBX interface, so you can manage all your SIP devices and initiate calls from there as well. So as you can see, uh, and you will see that later on in the demo, the plugin is really feature rich. But also on the management client, you can see in the demo, there's a lot of features that you can use to manage your uh, SIP interface into Mouse and Expert Tech. Today we will see the plugin developed by SGSE that integrates Grandstream's UCM6510 audio control units in Milestone. With this plugin, any SIP device will be integrated. Let's start with the system configuration. The first step is to configure our PBX with extensions and call groups. This configuration will be downloaded once the device is registered. To do this, we will go to the management client in the MIP plugin section, where we will find a new menu called Grandstream IP PBX plugin. To register the PBX, we only need to enter the data that appears on the screen. The descriptive name of the PBX, the IP address, the port, the user and the password. We will be able to enable and disable the device and the default extension that will be used to make calls. In addition, we can make some additional configurations. Within the Management Client Tools tab, under Options, we will find a new tab called Property. Within this tab, we will find two configurations. The first one the association of smart client users to a default SIP extension. This configuration will overwrite the default extension configuration that we have previously configured in the menu to add the PBX. In addition, we will find a new tab to define areas. These areas will be groupings of extensions that will make it easier for the operator to manage them. Once the configuration is done and imported from the PBX, we will find two types of items in the configuration. 
the first thing you will find are the call groups, which will allow you to launch pre-recorded messages or live calls. If we click on each of the downloaded messages, we will be able to see their properties and identify if it is a pre-recorded message and to which extensions it will be sent or if they are direct calls, since direct calls will be allowed and we will also see to which extensions they will be directed to. We will also find the items of the extensions that currently exist in the PBX. We will import both their name and extension. Users will also be able to configure the type of extension, which will involve a change of icon on the device in the plans, in order to quickly identify what type of SIP device we are using. A soft phone, a conventional SIP extension, an intercom type SIP device, a speakerphone, or a speakerphone with microphone. Finally, we find the areas. The areas that we have created previously can be assigned to each of these extensions. We will group them in this way. Once the system is configured, we will go to the operator interface, the smart client. Operators can manage the system from the plans or from two new tabs that will appear at the top of the screen. In the plans, we can display the icons of the different extensions quickly identifying the type by its icon. These icons will show the status of each extension. These can be green, online, blue, called, orange, busy, gray, with a sign of warning, offline. By right-clicking with your mouse on each of the extensions, you can initiate a call. When initiating the call, the default extension configured in the smart client will be used. Once the call is made, the extension will ask for confirmation of the call on the extension itself. If this extension is configured to pick up the call automatically, it will not need this confirmation. If the extension is of the intercom type, when the call is made, an event will be generated that will trigger events or rules in the system. We can also display on the map the different call groups, quickly identifying by their icon whether it is a pre-recorded message or a live call. These icons will allow the pre-recorded messages to be played from the same plan or to make calls to groups to make live speeches. These pre-recorded messages can also be executed from rules or from alarms. The main purpose of the two new tabs added to the smart client is to make it easier for the operator to manage the audio system. You will find a tab where both pre-recorded messages and call groups for live calls will be listed. Clicking on the play button next to each message will play the extensions listed under that message. In the same way, by clicking on the microphone next to the call groups, we will be able to start the live speeches on the corresponding extensions. Finally, we will find a tab where all the existing extensions will be displayed. They will be grouped in the areas configured at the beginning of the video in the management client. The extensions that have not been assigned an area will appear in the unassigned area group. All extensions will show their status and calls can be initiated by clicking on the icon of each extension.